so my like, makeup looks like a little blotchy right now because of like the lighting but and what the hell is that bubble in my throat but no guys i'm about to go and record my friend's first podcast episode his name is alan i'm gonna let y'all see what's going on in there so he just gave me confirmation that i can record in there so um although he's not i don't think he's video taking can i get into my car I'm gonna go ahead and videotape for my purposes because I'm like, I need all the content I can right now. Okay, so hopefully it's funny. Y'all, so my family, this is a little tip about me. In my family, we have, oh, it ain't raining no more. We have a history of like really bad muscle spasms. Y'all, I. I don't have any more of my muscle relaxers and I'm 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 hurting. And the only reason that I'm kinda like out right now or even up is because for one I have to work at six thirty. For two, I don't wanna bail out on Allen. I said I'm done doing the bailouts on people and I know people are dependent on me, so um yeah, I'm gonna make sure I show up, make sure I get there on time. <laughs> I should have known it's been in the hot car. Dude. It's popping out. Everybody always want to know why my lips like what what I be putting on my lips. I mean, I use lip gloss sometimes, but most of the time, uh, it's Carmex. I can't even wear lip gloss without Carmex. So, but hopefully, I don't even. Well, I guess I care what I look like since I'm recording, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna see y'all in there, uh, or at least when I pull up to the school, because I'm not trying to drive and record uh I'm not trying to get that ticket so i'll see y'all shortly <laughs> sorry <laughs> now you got me off track <laughs> we're talking about people who go from being in relationships and relationships and then and friends. yeah oh. so what the whole smashing thing is that smashing without feelings or smashing with feelings that's up to you or, so, yeah, i'm yeah. asking you from personal like i feel like it's hard to smash without feelings like i feel like Look at this, he said she, the I, devil no, thought no, he no, had no, me. but here's the thing. Here's, here's, here's the thing. In order for you to want to smash someone, there has to be feelings of attraction. attraction yeah, attraction yeah. Attraction. yeah not... No, but that's still feelings. Oh. I no. feel like it is. Attraction ain't a feeling that... I feel like attraction, an attraction... I'm thinking about... Feeling. I definitely feel like attraction is a feeling, only because attraction can come and go. So that's why I feel like it's a feeling. See, I... This is Ooh, but it's not one of them feelings to where it's not. It's, see, 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 but it's not one, one of them feelings. feelings to where it's like, <laughs> like I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna, I'm not gonna be able to live without you because you're attractive. It's not one of those feelings. <laughs> That's not. Oh, I don't know what, what you're talking about anymore. Actually, I don't know what saying, you're talking about anymore. I'm just saying, I'm just saying attraction what, is a feeling. I kind of get what you're saying for though. You to get in. I mean, this may not be for all people. I mean. Teach, teach them. Them, right. but for me like in order to get in the bed for you i have to be attracted to you and to right. me, like, attraction is a feeling because i don't have that feeling with everyone right I, some people i'm just like <laughs> and there's some people like oh okay like, hmm. i might say i was gonna say at the same sense what do you say to people that's like sex is just sex it's nothing else i that's kind of I, I, I get what she's saying about the attraction though because and when what i mean by that is is um because like you find somebody and they're attractive and you're like they're attracting them like i want to have sex with them it's like yeah, y'all ain't having sex, but you could still be attractive. Like, dang, I would still have sex with them. You gotta wait for that. Like, yeah, they're attractive, I guess, but I I wouldn't do anything with them, kind of mm -hmm. thing to to go away before you can really say like, I'm done with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because y'all not having sex no more doesn't mean like you still would. If we're just talking about like sex without feelings or with feelings of attraction, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 okay. Go ahead. <laughs> I've already spoke, though. Y'all yeah. see the smoke, smoke coming out of his ears? <laughs> no, 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 I was just like, no, it's not even that. I was just trying to understand, because like, no, really some, some people, some people really be like, no, nah, sex is just sex. So it ain't, it ain't, it ain't nothing. I mean, I think like, some people, it's like that. Yeah, that's what I'm like saying. the people who can compartmentalize their feelings a lot better. Yeah. And everybody can't do that. Oh, everybody everybody can't do that. I, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not. Like, I, I can definitely do it. can't. It depends on what I'm feeling that I can do mm. better with. I know. But I can't do that with all my feelings. Like, no. Yeah. See, my thing is, my thing is, I, I compartmentalize, but then I can't open the compartment again. See, see, my thing is, too, <laughs> like, I, I'm so unbothered unit. to people think it's just, oh, she don't care. But it's just like, I mean, I, to me, it is like, it is what it is. So. Be like that. 
Mm. Boy, I thought it was a bug in here. Oh, no. I mean, I'm not a grass with me. I just thought, I was like, I'm hoping there's no bug moving like that. It's going to be right here. You know what? Can I see that? Hey, you got AirPods? Don't give me wrong. Don't give me wrong. So, how do you guys go from being um, taking it there to going back to being friends? Going on to the next one. Oh, going on to the next one. How do you. Well, I don't. You got to go on to the next one to be friends with the last one? Hmm. I mean, that's what y'all just said. I'm just trying to figure out, like, that's a good question. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> no, take your time. Like, I mean, oh, me. don't all speak at I, once. I know. The answers, you know. They really hear people. They think it, think it. I mean, I no, but like. You gotta be old. What'd you say? You gotta be over the person. <laughs> nah, mm. I don't. To be friends? Oh, to be friends. I thought you meant to go on to the next one. No, yeah, yeah. We, if you're not over him, then listen. I put you, I put you like this: this sex. Cycle. If we if we just if we end up having sex and that was it, it's it's easy for me to go back being cool. But if we were talking on the verge of dating or in the process of dating, that's harder for me to come back from, personally. So gotcha. if we were talking about the date or I liked you extremely a lot, cool. I'm probably it's gonna take me a minute to be friends with you again, probably a couple months because like, nah, I really liked you. I can't just be your friend and you tell me, oh, I like this dude. Like, nah. I really liked you, so therefore it's gonna take me a couple months. But if we just have sex or do anything like that, it's gonna be easy because it's like, man, right. sex ain't even all that. You know what I'm saying? To me, like we gonna we're gonna do what we gotta do, cool, but we can be still be cool after that. Does mm. that make sense? So that's me. What about you, Juice? Just I'm <laughs> just don't care. <laughs> I really kinda don't. It's just like I don't know, bro. Sex Are is you just like once you're done. No, you're it's, done? it's it's both. It's both though. Not just sex. It's like if you're on a regular date and sex. Like taking like, it I, like there I, like I and then said. trying to get back to being right. Okay. Rather it be sex or a relationship. That's what I'm saying. Because if it's just sex with me, it's, it's easy. It's, it's easy. Like, yeah. Like, if we were, it's easy. if we were, you know, getting there, then it's like or even dating. Then that's when I'm gonna be, you know, just sitting in my room. Listen to Charlene by Anthony Hamilton. Uh, not Charlene. Baby, I'll be. Oh, no. <laughs> Charlene. Sitting there waiting on you to come home. I'm telling you. You know you know. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Hey, on me. You sitting there. Hump is like at the door. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm cool, bro. I'm good, bro. I'm just cleaning. I'm, cool. I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning. But, yeah. but also, um, <laughs> actually, no. Never mind. What? No, come on. I don't want to. No, 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 We're not no. doing this. We're not doing this. We not. Mm. First episode, man. Open it up. Uh-uh. No. Set the tone, man. I don't know. It's just like, I'm just, I'm just really like thinking about both. Like if it's just six or if it's like, like we're taking it there. Cause I have, I have an issue of like having it in that gray area. Well, like, I think it's just sex, but they think we're taking it there. Oh, goodness. Oh, well, now you're adding in stuff. Communication. Like, uh, yep, exactly. But it would be like, mm. the jump, I was like, you know, I'm just but, trying to smack. Yeah, but even even when you do communicate at the beginning, sometimes it, it do turn it, into it, it goes it's all the time. Still, and then, and then, 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 then I'm an asshole. I was like, I don't know why you come to me. And that's what y'all over here, like, it's not hard. It is very hard. Because, I mean, yes, you're only having sex, but, I mean... Eventually, that stuff does happen. Like, just saying, in general. It's not hard not to. Not to get you. It's not hard at all. I mean, if we just, I don't know, if we just doing that, just. You telling me if you doing it with the same person for months, you not gonna catch feelings. If we just having sex. If If we just just having having sex. sex. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's gonna go. It's gonna go from just having sex to. You know, let me let me talk to them. About, let me run something by them real quick. No, well, on me. You know what? Let, let me see what they're doing right now. On me. That's that's literally what it turns it's into. Gonna the dude can make the agreement. The dude can make the agreement, and then I'll start doing small stuff like little affection mm-hmm. and stuff. Let me text you good morning, beautiful. Let me, you know, I'm like, if this was supposed to be some hit and quit, why are you not hitting and quitting? What you text me throughout right. the day for? What and you then calling? It's like, it? oh, they text on my me. mind. Yeah, yes, yeah, like so you're doing stuff to make me. You just said this is all. I was cool with it. And now, 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 now you're doing all this extra stuff that you know I like and, and confused that I got feelings. That's that gray area.
Mm. I'm not saying disrespect me and dog me out and just. Right. Bitch, I'm just fucking on you. Next <laughs> <laughs> I'm All right, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> tomorrow. All right, tomorrow. I'm straight. Straight. I'm I'm like, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have the niggas I'm just having sex with treat me better than my men. Like I'm just like, why are you treating me so <laughs> awesome? Oh. So I'm just like, that don't make sense. So awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So you know. Right. That's that's kind of what I'm saying. Like if now if it's just cut and dry, like both people, right. then yes. But some people do not know how to do that at all. On both ends, females at and all. males, on both ends. Mm. Uh, important inches though. You have a hard time with that. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not there. Not there. Just, uh, keep it a bean. No, big facts. Okay, so also give us one more, man. Before we, we get this thing up out of here. Doom, doom, doom. So I hear the runs in here. Uh -uh. Cut it out. I said, get the horse out your throat. <laughs> How do you fall out of love with someone? Oh, God. That's what we're That's ending, what ending with. with. <laughs> Damn, oh, so wait, wait, okay. I'll change it. No, I want it. <laughs> oh no, this nigga's about to take it. Go ahead. Get that up. Get that thorn out of my face. <laughs> Plays instrumental. I was just fooling. <laughs> Dang, I didn't mean I wanted to go first. I mean, that's kind of what she was saying. Though. I mean, I was going to change the question. Because I don't have no answer. I'm not even going to lie. I don't know. So y'all take y'all time. That's, that's a real great question. I think for me, personally, it's just no. like... Yes? I was going to go to another question. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we can say that. We can yeah, say it. Yeah. Do you think the way your family has loved you shapes how you love Man, what the heck? Family? I've talked about this a Is that not a good one? Yes, that Do you is. Have to? Yeah, very good. Let's go. Okay. You see Zeus over here? Yeah. Would you like to answer the first one? No, I'm going to answer this one. Okay. It definitely does, but go ahead. Uh, Let's get on my nerves. Um... This is something else we talk about again, my goodness. Um, I definitely think it has an effect. Um, for me personally, growing up in a family that wasn't so affectionate, you know, I'm really not all that affectionate. I'm learning. I'm learning, you know, I'm, I've definitely come a long way. When I first started K-State a century ago, you know, mm -hmm. I didn't like people hugging all on me, jumping on my bed. Hey, let's go hang out. Want to lock arms and all that extra stuff. I'm like, is this stop touching me? You know, don't even hug me and stuff like that. But I feel like I've gotten better. Um, but that's just the way th that my family is. You know, we still say I love you. We just don't. When we meet up, it's dapping up. It's not really hugs and stuff like that. We all getting better, honestly. So I feel like that's why I am the way I am now. So I definitely feel like it has an effect. I definitely feel like that's some stuff I carry over, which I'm trying to change. So, so yeah, that's a better question. So how do you change those? How are you going about changing those if you know that's a problem? I feel like it's or not like even a problem if you know that's like something that I want to change. A common inconsistency with somebody that you're trying to talk to. Um, I feel like I just have to be open for um I just have to be open for like the type of person I am, I'm always constantly doing like some self reflecting and what can I change and everything like that. So I think you just have to be open mm -hmm. to kinda be able to change. So like I've been open to okay, just hug me. Okay, hug me softly or come on, we can go do you know, hold hands or stuff like that. So I think I've just been open to kind of learn how to be more affectionate and stuff like that. I struggle with that too. Yeah. I'm not a very affectionate person. It's it's tough. It's tough. I be feeling awkward. I'm like, am I rubbing his head too tight? Am I rubbing you know, his head too You know, my, you know, it just, I be like, I don't want to, it's weird. Like, I don't know what it, how to even explain it. But I've definitely gotten better. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Allison? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, for me, it definitely has, especially coming from uh, a household where both my parents were together, so that they, they just celebrated their 30th anniversary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, I mean, they, they owed, I was an accident, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love y'all, but I mean, it's just like, and I think that's what makes me, like, especially different from like a lot of my friends because since my parents were such they were always the older ones in the group mm -hmm. I definitely got that I was I would say like I grew up in a different generation even though I was in my same generation like yeah. 
you know there was no like okay mom i'm about to go out and uh, no who you going to a party she walk up in the party looking for the parents hey right so it's just hey. like i didn't grow up in that same I feel like even though I, we grew up in the same era but it's just like i just grew up differently and so like seeing mm -hmm. my parents like seeing the way that they i mean especially like they argued but like even when they argued in front of us it was always behind closed doors mm -hmm. even though i mean you could definitely hear what they were talking about but it was right. just it was always it was never really in front of us mm -hmm. and so like that 1955 and 1956 oh. so like a lot of that has shaped like how i approach um arguments and like I'm very, like, I'm like my dad, so I'm very, like, nonchalant. Like, I'm unbothered now. Unless you really do something to, like, piss mm -hmm. me off, that's when I go off. But most of the time, I'm just like, hmm, okay. And then, like, my struggle is like, oh, like, you don't care, you don't care. And it's just like, I do, but it's just like, it's not going to come across yeah. that I do. Because it's just like, I mean, what do you want? I got the same thing. Yeah. Girl. It's same just, thing. What do you want from me? I just <laughs> like, but I, it definitely has shaped, like, the way... I love especially because it's like sometimes you know there's certain things that you watch and you're just like oh, like I don't want to be I don't want to do things like that mm -hmm. I don't want to do things like that and then they go and be like you acting just like your mama right now mm -hmm. that is not what I want or you acting just exactly. like your daddy right now yeah exactly. and it's just like that is exactly what I did not want mm -hmm. and it's just like you try so much to get away from it and then you right, end up still acting like still a... you're still doing it mm -hmm. and see like my mom it's just like she can be like she nitpicks a lot on like my dad and stuff and it's just like why like why are you so nitpicky like mm -hmm. leave him alone like and it's just like and then i do i do it with don i'm just like what are you doing why is this like this why is this like that mm -hmm. da, 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 da. and he was like dang like you always acting like your mom i'm just like <laughs> you know i gotta bite my tongue and be like hmm okay, yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> let me sit down somewhere but it's just like mm -hmm. it's just it's even though like you try and change those th things it's just so unintentional it just happens in jail or just doing drugs somewhere like he, he like he don't talk to nobody no more it's like i never saw him talk to anybody so it's just like i always saw my mama talk to people but she was always talking to, to women so it's like my girl like my my friends that are girls all like we're just like best of friends i'm best friends with everybody like people always like people like oh yeah you know girls always calling terrence i'm like 99 percent of them are just friends just because like i'm just like like that with women but mm -hmm. like, when it comes to like my homies nah I'm, I'm terrible with it. Like I'll just be, like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out now. But it's like sometimes I'll just be saying stuff that's like kind of too far, just because like I don't, I don't really know how to like talk to my niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking to Alan, I just be saying some off the wall. I'm talking loud kicks. I be saying some off the wall stuff, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm just saying something. <laughs> but um, so like when it comes to, I forgot what I was talking about. Like we're talking about our parents. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, you're talking about your love languages. Yeah, and so like my love languages are uh physical touch and quality time and i always got physical touch and quality time from my mama but like i didn't really get either of those from my dad so it's like like he was always there you know you just we just we just didn't talk didn't talk to him like at all mm -hmm. still well, still to this day we'll just be like you know we'll be sitting there watching the watching a basketball game we won't say two words to each other Ask him like afterwards mm, that was a good game wasn't it yeah it was a good game that's sad though. all right i'm about to go to my room <laughs> Okay, me too. <laughs> right, I'm that's not that's, that's not funny, but no, you like, know, I like, mean, it's just it's just it is what it is. Like we we didn't start to get better at it, you know. You know, mm, can't remember the last time he like just called me, but I don't call him either. Like when we do call, it's like, oh, you know what you doing? Uh, nothing. What you doing? Oh, just got off work. Oh, okay. Okay, well I'm all at you. <laughs> but it's like I mean, you still make that effort to call, but like that's 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 how it was going up with me. So it's like. That's why I don't call nobody now. So it's yeah, like, straight up. Mm -hmm. I don't, like I, I'm terrible at calling people. I'm very terrible at that. Yeah, Sorry, right, man. Awful. Okay. Awful. Okay. I feel attacked. <laughs> it's just like, I'm the type, like, I feel like at this point, you guys should definitely know, like, when I break, like, especially, it could be even, like, breaks in general, or even just, like, Christmas break. When I break, oh, it's a break. That means a break from y'all. Mm -hmm. A break from school so it's just like don't take it to heart that it's just like i'm not communicating with people i'm just mm -hmm. i this is my time to just let it all get it all off and then just move forward but i do i'm terrible at that and then when i call people they're like oh what you want what you need i'm just like i just wanted to talk <laughs> like, i just wanted a conversation so like sometimes that gets me but that's crazy 
That's what's up. What's one thing that? Nah, it's your the, turn. I know. Oh me, it's no, your I'm, turn. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. What's the, what was one thing that you had as a child that affects you now, right? Like as far as friends, relationships go. Basically. Was, basically, Do you okay. think like yeah, the, um, yeah. Yeah, it definitely does. Def nah, definitely does. One thing I would say is tr trust. Man, when it comes to trusting <laughs> women, oh, that's dead. That is, that is dead to me. Just because, like, that's not my, that's not my thing. So is it something that was from your past, yeah, like, yeah, from growing up, or is it something you've? Ex yeah. Not just something for this experience, not even from me. So me, I'm the type of person, I pay attention to experiences from others and then like close people around me. So mine, it was my pops. So certain experience that, you know, I seen from him was just like, okay, okay, let me see. So you is know? it that like you trust to like naively? Like you just... Yeah. When I, I don't know. Don't trust it all. I don't. Yeah, I, that, that, that's what I'm saying. I don't. You could like, especially if I'm talking to somebody, that's when it's, that's when it's like the worst. And it's crazy because I could really like somebody and not trust them. It's, it's the craziest thing, but that's like one thing. The therapy, though, therapy is getting me through every Monday at three. I can't wait for. T I can't wait. But anyway, um, yeah. So no, that's one thing I talk about with my therapist all the time. That's yes, one thing that not only me, but and then we also when you hang around people that have the same views. So a lot of me and my homies, you know, some of them they're like, "Hey, bro, this is what it is." Like, you know, you got to start opening up because a lot of my friends have moms, and me with me, I grew up with my pops, you know, so. It was like, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. You know, say so it would help me. Hey, man, you might want to try open up. Try not to. Some of them be like, hell no, nah, because they don't do it neither. And it's just like, well, we're not helping each other. You know what I'm saying? But that's what they, therapy helped me with. So trust is definitely one thing in women that I do not do. Yeah. So, like, I I know you said, like, you grew up around your dad. So, like, when Sherry came in the picture, did that stuff change a little bit? Yeah, it did. That, it, it did, especially now. So now that I'm older, yeah, because now I'm seeing, okay, they can be trusted. But it's like, even still, though, like, some would trigger me. And I'll be like, hell no. Like, I'm a big communicator, so it can be something small. It could be the smallest thing. It could be, it could be something small. But if you don't communicate with me, I'll be like, nah, I'm good. Like, you probably, you probably doing something foul, and I'm straight. So that kind of goes back to what we were saying what? in the beginning about deal lying. breakers. Yeah, about lying. Oh yeah. So yours is that you can't trust, and you feel like people are always lying. Not people, women. I trust the homies. That's what's crazy. I trust the homies. I do anything for the homies. I'm riding for the homies. But when it comes to women, nah, that's that's slim. That's slim. Mm. Real slim. That ain't happening. If it does happen, it's gonna be a lucky day. But nah. That's one thing. What's another one? What's a lighter one? A lighter one would be. Hmm. I have my I guess to piggyback off of Zeus is I'm 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 affectionate. So you're going to know what I'm feeling. I don't care. A lot of times I can be too affectionate. So that's one thing I'm kind of trying to work on. Because not everybody deserves your affection. So I'm working on that. So that's one thing I would say that I got that from my pops. My pops real affectionate too. He don't care. He'll talk to anybody. All that. You know what I'm saying? And he always showed me affection. So to me, it's easy for me to show affection to anybody. But as far as that other thing, trust not. That's it. See, it's funny how like how like family plays into it because i would have to say the same thing like my dad is very affectionate but my mom is not so it's just like seeing how you mm -hmm. how you come off it's just very interesting yeah man it's different all right so this so on this podcast we do a thing called entrepreneurs of the week all right so episode one we're gonna shout out my home girl she does makeup it's called the beauty square all right so okay. the beauty square she does waxes she does facials, eyelashes, everything. Basically, everything that women like to do as far as y'all faces, she does, okay? Her name is Shambrea Reed, all right? She's 23. She's from Wichita, okay? Okay. Make sure y'all follow her. Follow her on on Facebook at The Beauty Square, okay? On Instagram, Bray.Reed, okay? Her business line, 316-285-0132. And she's really good, y'all. Like, she's really good. I'm not even joking. So her page will be up on um, the Loud Kicks Podcast Instagram page. She's good. She does a lot of facials for weddings. So she she's a traveler. Yeah, she, she'll do it, whatever it takes. And whatever you need, she'll do what you need to do. Especially if you're in the Wichita area, you come to her. She'll see you. 
everything. She's really good at what she does, all right? And I'll have more information on our page. So make sure I go read in the description what it is. I'll make sure I put her Instagram page as well so y'all can go follow her. She's really good, man. She's been doing it for about two months now, her own business for about two months. But she's been doing makeup and stuff longer than that. Like, she's certified, got her license, everything, everything. So as far as having her own business, she just started that about, like, two months ago. So she's really good, man. So make sure y'all check her out. She will be up on the page, okay? So that's it for the Loud Kicks Podcast. D, thank you for coming on. Thank you for I having me. I appreciate you. <clears throat>
in uh, today's content um i'm gonna try to bring people on here and have more because i know some people with youtube um magazines fashion writers like i know so many people who do so many different things and so i want to bring so many people on here just kind of like um try to go out and visit other people and they stuff too because so many people support me y'all like so many people support me and it's a really love so thank y'all for tuning in today if y'all like this video make sure y'all like comment share and subscribe and make sure y'all click on the link below because i'm gonna drop his podcast link and make sure y'all follow him too um he has a, a loud kicks radio um he also has some merch too that i've been meaning to get but he didn't get back that i wanted or something i don't know but he got a lot of good stuff y'all so um Anywho, let me go on in here before I not have no um, time to eat before I clock in and I'm going to be pissed. So, all right, I'm going to see y'all later. Doocy doo. My room would have been all black because I don't, I don't do the colors. I don't, I don't do the colors. Oh, it's on. It's on. We're showing the getting part. It's on. Okay, we're going to scoop this back.